Hey everyone, it's Coach Molly here and I have a few tips for you. So you've bought a Beachbody Challenge Pack and now we're expecting you to change your lifestyle to fit in that workout and that nutrition. Um, so it's going to be a change for you. And I have a few tips for you and I'm hoping that after you watch this video you will pile in on the comment thread so we can actually talk about some of your successes, your tips, your tricks, and some struggles that you're having um, with it because changing our lifestyle isn't always easy, but I'm going to tell you that it's worth it. So um, if you're like me, maybe your schedule looks something like this, you know, between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. you get ready for work and you commute to your job. Between 8 and 5, you're actually at your job and maybe you have an hour for lunch. Um, then from 5 to 6, you commute back home. Maybe you stop at the grocery store. You pick up your children if they're in daycare. Um, between 6 and 9 p.m., you are preparing dinner, playing with your children, getting them ready for the next day, winding down. Um, and then between 9 and 11, that's your time. But you're also probably throwing in a few extra loads of laundry. Um, you probably have a DVR show that you're trying to watch. Um, as you fast forward through all of the commercials um, and maybe you're on Facebook or doing something else, you're paying bills and suddenly it's 11 o'clock at night and it's time to go to bed and you know how do you fit in your workout in that pretty packed schedule. So I'm going to tell you, you're going to try, if you'd like, wake up a half an hour early every day and I don't really like it either but if you wake up half an hour early, you get your workout done before you're even awake, you get it done, and then you continue on with the rest of the day. Because if you wait until you get home, you say, no, I'm going to do it at 6, no, I'm going to do it at 7, you know, you're already tired from your day. You have a day's worth of excuses that have mounted that are now in your way, preventing you to get to your workout. So start with your workout first thing in the morning. Just get up, put on your workout clothes, press play on your workout, and it's done. Now, how do you fit in meal preparation and um, planning? So if you are at all like me, um, more often than I like to admit, I would rely on the local deli to get salads and pastas, three bean salads, and like some of their different protein options that they have. But even those organic and healthy options come with a lot of calories unnecessary fat, unnecessary salt and sugar because that deli, its goal is to sell me products that taste good, not necessarily healthy and they're marketed as healthy but ultimately they're not much more healthy than other items I could get and definitely not as healthy as if I as if when I make it at home. So we have to fit in the meal planning and the meal preparation. So sometimes you may want to utilize your weekend to plan out what your meals will look like, you know, your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks for the week, organize a schedule, and then buy the groceries based on that schedule, and then commit to not going to the grocery store the rest of the week, unless you run out of, like, fresh fruits or vegetables, um, because you also save a lot of money if you only go to the grocery store once a week, because even if you go to the grocery store to pick up one item, chances are you'll leave the grocery store um, spending an extra 25 to 75 dollars because of all of the other impulse buys or the gotta haves or oh yeah I forgot I needed that as well so go to the grocery store once a week it's gonna save your pocketbook um, and calories um, and the other trick that I have for meal preparation is um, batch cooking on the weekends so make a whole bunch of brown rice or your proteins and freeze them in portions into the, in, in the freezer um, or use your crock pot and something that I love to use is a pressure cooker and a lot of people think that the food will come out mushy and yucky but um, I find using a pressure cooker actually cooks the food it doesn't you know reduce it to mush um, so maybe other people don't know how to use their pressure cooker but I love it I think it's a time saver so for me who doesn't necessarily use my crock pot because I have to actually think about that a little bit more than just a quick 10 minutes or 20 minutes in a pressure cooker. Um, that option works for me. So fit in your workout. Oh, and get to bed early. So 
you know, if you're up until 11, 1130, 12, 1, you know, you wake up tired the next day, you got to stop that. You got to put um, a deadline uh, on when you go to bed. So maybe it's, you're going to start going to bed at 11 and it's going to be hard at first, but set timers for, you know, it's 11 o'clock, you got to get ready, you got to go to bed and get to bed and your body will be tired because that whole entire week you'll be getting up at 5.30 in the morning to get your workout done. So if you're actually getting up, you'll be tired by 11 o'clock at night and you'll actually want to go to bed. So um, organize your time and really find where you can pull things out of your um, schedule that really aren't needed. Like watching the Late 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 Show probably isn't needed. Um, any favorite shows that you have, um, DVR them so that you can fast forward through any of the commercials or just, you know, have a marathon on the weekend. Um, and figure out really what are the important things. And sometimes, you know, scrolling on Facebook, half an hour goes by, and it's like, oh, it's been a half an hour. Or playing games that you may think are really fun, but actually they kind of get in the way of the rest of your life. So this is all about changing your lifestyle so that you have the fitness and the energy and the health that you want. And that really means pulling some of those things out that might be fun or might be distractions, but that's so you can add in a lot more of what you do want in life. Um, and so you can be here next week and well into the future, you know, living your life fully and with energy. So I will see you in the group. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.